so here are uh, some more examples using the uh, octal digits for uh, the different permissions. Uh, so the example of the 77 is uh, the most uh, permissive uh, option. Uh, it basically gives all the rights to uh, the different users, starting from the owner, uh, the group to which the owner uh, belongs, and uh, all the other users. So there are uh, no restrictions. Anyone has the right to uh, read, write, and uh, execute. Um, if you, if we take this uh, second example, um, so uh, the owner basically have the right to read, write, and execute, and uh, the group to which belongs the user and all the others uh, have the right only to read and to execute, but uh, not the right to uh, write or uh, modify that file. Uh, if we take the 700, for example, uh, basically uh, the first digital is for uh, the user, so we can see that 7 means 4 plus 2 plus 1, remember, so the user uh, has the right to do any kind of operation, but the other uh, two uh, groups don't have any right because it's 00, zero. so as you can see here um, using the same uh, permissions using the characters. Um, so this is typically used when uh, it's a private uh, file to the owner and the owner uh, doesn't want anyone else to uh, even see the content uh, of that file. Uh, uh, here, for example, the 666 uh, six example is uh, for a file or directory uh, where everyone has the right to read and write, but not the right to execute. Uh, this can typically be um, um, be used for uh, a given file that cannot be uh, executed, uh, which is not a, uh, a program. Let's say, for example, uh, an Excel file. Uh, we can all read it and write uh, and modify it, but we don't have the right to execute. Uh, let's say take the last example, so the 600, uh, the owner basically has the right to uh, read and write, but uh, cannot execute, it could be a non-executable -execu uh, file, and uh, um, so the owner may uh, read and write, but all the others uh, do not have any right. Uh, always remember the difference between uh, an ordinary file and uh, a directory. Um, so writing into a directory basically means um, bringing uh, files, other files, into the directory and uh, removing files or uh, subdirectories from that uh, directory, for example. Um, so now we're gonna move to uh, we're gonna talk about uh, variables and particularly uh, the environment uh, variables uh, that are very useful uh, to handle all the different uh, tasks and jobs uh, users are executing in a, um, in the system. So uh, a variable is like in any programming uh, language is an area of memory that can be used to store information and is referred by uh, a name. Uh, so let's say I'm going to call um, a variable uh, x and I want to give it a, um, a value uh, of, uh, let's say, the temperature uh, of today. Uh, so I'm going to call the variable x and uh, the value of x is, um, let's say, 25, uh, depending on where you are. And uh, I can access this uh, variable uh, using, um, using the name x and uh, when I call that name x, when I access that uh, area, I will have access to the value uh, that is stored into that variable. Uh, so to create a variable, it's very simple. Uh, you can uh, you can um, start by the name of the variable, uh, follow it by the equal sign, and then give a value. Uh, be careful here; uh, spaces are not allowed between the name of the variable and the value. Uh, we're gonna cover this uh, when we will uh, start uh, writing uh, shell scripts. So uh, we're gonna see uh, the the shell variables later on in details. 
so uh, the name of a variable is uh, like in any programming language again uh, it really de it really uh, depends on the user um, I mean it's better to make uh, your variables uh, significant but for the system and for uh, the shell interpreter or any other uh, lang programming language interpreter uh, I mean, the interpreters don't see the difference between uh, X and temperature. They don't see the difference between uh, X, Y, and Z. So it's really uh, up to you. But um, make it uh, significant as uh, as much as you can. Uh, so in Linux, there are uh, two different types of variables. Uh, there are the shell variables that the user can um, define. And there are also the environment variable. Uh, that are uh, variables already set by default in your uh, shell session, but you can update the um, the content of this uh, variable. We're gonna see this in a minute. Uh, if you wanna have an idea about all your environment variables and their values, you can use the command uh, print env, and this will give you all the um, all the defined environment uh, variables in your shell and uh, their respective values. Uh, so an environment variable again is a dynamic object. This means that the value can change. Uh, you can update the value of the, that variable. Um, and it stores a variable that can be referenced by different programs that you uh, run in your uh, system. Um, the environment variables uh, help the different programs running in your system to know where uh, to install files when you are installing a new uh, software or program. Um, you will, uh, the system will know where to store uh, the different temporary files and uh, the system will also know uh, where to look for uh, the profile setting of a given user. Uh, this can be found on the user um, var variable, for example. And uh, the variable, uh, the environment variable, are very helpful uh, to basically run and uh, shape all the different uh, programs um, that we can run. Uh, so here are some example of environment variables. Um, I just took three uh, of the most uh, common ones, let's say. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of environment variables. Um, be careful here. Uh, these three variables, home, path, and PWD, are all in capital letter. And uh, remember that Linux is case sensitive, so if we're going to write home in... Um, in um, lowercase, it's gonna mean your home directory, and it's not, uh, I mean, it's gonna mean the home uh, folder and not the home uh, variable. Uh, so the path variable is uh, an environmental variable that uh, does contain all the list of directories that the system uh, would search. Um, to find uh, an executable uh, program corresponding to uh, a command that the user uh, types. So this list of different folders is separated by uh, columns. And uh, typically, if you type a command and uh, you receive an error message saying that uh, command not found, uh, there are uh, two different uh, options. Either the command does not exist at all in the system, or uh, the command is not in your uh, in your path. It has not been added to your path. Uh, if you, for example, install a new program and uh, let's say you install uh, Circus to draw some uh, graphics, and uh, if you type Circus directly, uh, it's not going to uh, to be able to execute to recognize where from where the system has to run uh, that. Um, that program, but if you uh, update the path uh, variable, uh, the system is going to recognize uh, your command that you typed. Uh, the PWD variable uh, always stores the variable of your current working directory. So remember we said that the environment variables are dynamic and the value uh, could change, um, could change. So uh, if you're gonna move from one directory to another, uh, the PWD uh, value is going uh, to change. Uh, 
So as I said, when you install a new program, uh, you can add the directory to your uh, path environment variable. This can be done um, using the export command. So you basically use the export command and uh, try to change the value of path. Here we are trying to uh, uh, add to the path this um, this. Um, <laughs> Here we are trying to add to the path uh, this uh, whole um, path uh, where the program you want to add is uh, installed. Uh, there are two different options you can you can use uh, with the uh, the command uh, export. Uh, so you can either uh, do path equal and add the path, or uh, path uh, equal and then uh, follow it by semicolon and uh, dollar path. Uh, so the difference between these two uh, version of export is the first one is going to add uh, this folder uh, at the end of the folders directory that it does contain, and this one is gonna put it in the um, in the beginning of the uh, of the the fa of the directories list so basically it's gonna be the first directory uh, where the system is going to search for your comment but there's I mean once added to the path the system will uh, recognize that so um, it's not a big deal <laughs>